Hi everybody, in this video we're going to use Graham's Law to answer a question about effusion. We'd like to determine whether helium or nitrogen will effuse more quickly. The first step that we need to do here is to determine the molar mass of each of these different gases. Helium, we find straight from the periodic table, the average atomic mass will be the molar mass for this gas, 4.00 grams per mole. Nitrogen, because it's a diatomic element, uh, it forms molecules of two nitrogen atoms bonded together. So the molar mass for nitrogen will be the value of nitrogen doubled. So 28.02 grams per mole is the molar mass for diatomic nitrogen. Helium is going to effuse more rapidly than nitrogen. Whenever you're answering a question about the rate of effusion or the rate of diffusion, it's always the lighter gas which is going to effuse or diffuse more quickly. Now, we want to think about why this is true. We need to understand kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of helium and the kinetic energy of nitrogen, the N2, if they're at the same temperature, will, equal to, uh, will be equal to each other. So because that's true, and because we can calculate kinetic energy as one-half mv squared, we can see that a gas with a higher mass must have a lower velocity. A gas with a lower mass must have a higher velocity. So helium is the one which is going to effuse more quickly. Now, how much more quickly? To answer this, we need to use a law called Graham's Law. Now, Graham's Law, I'm going to write it down for you here. Graham's Law is the rate of gas A divided by the rate of gas B. That's going to be equal to the square root of the molar mass. MM is for molar mass of gas B divided by the molar mass of gas A. I'm going to take a moment here just to remind everybody that you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Mr. Poller. Uh, also, if you're out looking for help with chemistry, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've had a lot of videos intended to help students uh, learn chemistry. Now, back to the equation. How do we pick which gas is gas A, which gas is gas B? Gas A is always, uh, I would recommend that you put this in as the lighter gas. This is the faster one in this problem we're talking about, helium. Gas B is your slower, heavier gas. So for the sample problem we're looking at here, that's the nitrogen. So all I need to do now is uh, to set up my equation. I'm going to plug in my values for the molar masses of these two different gases. And then we could just plug them into the calculator and see what the calculator tells us. So the rate of A, remember that's the helium, divided by the rate of B, remember that's the nitrogen, is going to be equal to the square root of the molar masses of those gases. Don't forget, we've got to flip them to be the other way. So I'm going to take the square root of the molar mass of B, so we need the square root of 28.02. I'll leave off the units here because they're the same in the numerator and denominator. They're going to wind up canceling anyway, so I've just left them off here. So we have the square root of 28.02 divided by the square root of 4.00. This works out to give us a value of 2.65. This means that helium is going to effuse 2.65 times faster than what nitrogen will. Uh, so this has been a brief look at how you would apply Graham's Law in order to answer a question about effusion. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone.